Hello students, this video is from the CBSE textbook class 8 math exercise 6.2 question 2. So question says write a Pythagorean triplet whose one member is and we have four parts to the same question. So let's start with the solution to the first part which says one of the members of the Pythagorean triplet is 6. So let me tell you that Pythagorean triplets are three positive integers such that the square of sum of the two integers is equal to the, the square of the third integer. So here in this question we have been given one of the positive integers of the Pythagorean triplet and we need to find the other two integers. So Pythagorean triplets are three numbers which are of the form 2m, m square plus 1 and m square minus 1. So these are our general numbers through which we can find the exact number. So out of these three we can say that m square plus 1 is equal to 6. If we make m square plus 1 equal to 6, then we have m square is equal to 6 minus 1 which is equal to 5 and it, it gives m as equal to square root of 5 which is not a positive integer. So we cannot take m square plus 1 equals 6. Let's take m square minus 1 equals 6. So when m square minus 1 equals 6, this gives m square equals 6 plus 1 which is equal to 7 and it gives the value of m equals square root of 7 which is also not a positive integer. So we cannot take m square plus 1 equal to 6 or m square minus 1 equals 6. So we will take 2m equals 6 and when 2m is equal to 6, we can get the value of m as 6 upon 2 which is equal to 3 and it is a positive integer so we can say that 2m is equal to 6. So one of the numbers is 3. We got the value of m. Now we can find the other two numbers. So m square plus 1 will be equal to 3 square plus 1 which is equal to 9 plus 1 equals 10. And m square minus 1 will be equal to 3 square minus 1 which is equal to 9 minus 1 equals 8. So the three numbers will be 6, 8 and 10. 6, 8 and 10 are Pythagorean triplets. So this is how we find the Pythagorean triplet if one of the member is given. So let's find the second part and find the Pythagorean triplet if one of the triplets is 14. So the second part of the question is one of the triplets is 14. In triplets we have numbers of the form 2m m square plus 1 and m square minus 1. So let's say m square plus 1 equals 14 which gives us m square equals 14 minus 1 which is equal to 13 and which gives us m square equals root of 13 and root 13 is not a positive integer. So we cannot say that m square plus 1 is 14. Similarly, m square minus 1 equals 14 will also not give the value of m as positive integer. So let's take 2m equals 14 which gives the value of m equals 14 divided by 2 which is 7. So the other numbers will be m square plus 1 which is equal to 7 square plus 1 which equals 49 plus 1 equals 50 and the other triplet will be m square minus 1 which is 7 square minus 1 equals 49 minus 1 equals 48. So the three numbers will be 14, 48 and 50. These are the three Pythagorean triplet. Let's move on to our third part of the question which says that one of the members of triplets is 16. We have the numbers of the form 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. Let's say that m square 
plus 1 equals 16. This will give us m square equals 16 minus 1 which is equal to 15 and the value of m will be square root of 15 which is not a positive integer. For Pythagorean triplets, the value of m should be a positive integer. Here we are not getting m as positive. So we are not going to take m square plus 1 as 16 or m square minus 1 as 16 because in that case too, we are not going to get a positive value of m. So we are going to take 2m equals 16, which will give us m equals 16 upon 2 which is equal to 8. So when we got the value of m equals 8, we can find m square minus 1, which is equal to 8 square minus 1, which gives 64 minus 1 equals 63. And the other Pythagorean triplet will be m square plus 1, which is 8 square plus 1, which is equal to 64 plus 1 equals 65. So the three numbers will be 16, 63 and 65. These are the three Pythagorean triplet numbers. So let's move on to our fourth and last problem which says that the one of the triplets is number 18. We know that Pythagorean triplets are of the form 2m, m square plus 1 and m square minus 1. Here we are going to take 2m equals 18 because we know that if we will take m square plus 1 equals 18 or m square minus 1 equals 18, we are not going to get a positive value of m. So that is why 2m equals 18 which will give us the value of m equals 18 divided by 2 which is equal to 9 and now we can find the other two members of the triplet family which is m square plus 1 and m square minus 1. So 9 square plus 1 equals 81 plus 1 which is equal to 82 and m square minus 1 is equal to 9 square minus 1 which is equal to 81 minus 1 equals 80. So the three triplet numbers are 18, 80 and 82. These are the three Pythagorean triplet numbers. So this is how we find the value of Pythagorean triplet numbers if one of the number is given to us. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.